welcome to our new Florida home. We've been working really hard for the past month and a half to get this place up to snuff. The inside is completely done. But out here in the garage, uh, we need a makeover. You can see it's pretty plain Jane. Nothing special here at all. Now, I'm going to start with the flooring tiles. I got some nice tiles. The supplier or manufacturer is called Flooring Inc. Pretty nice orange and black tiles. They've got a diamond plate pattern to them. Quite inexpensive. That's what I'm going for. This is an affordable garage makeover, not an extreme garage makeover. These are nice. They got a little thickness to them. So they come, you know, as one foot squares, but I'm going to load them in in two foot squares. A little bit bigger squares and it's going to look a little cooler. So I'm going to get on to cleaning this all out. Not too bad. I mean, we keep a pretty clean garage. And then I'll be back with you soon. Now the whole garage is swept, blown, and sprayed to prevent pests, I'm ready to start tiling it. Well, it took about 45 minutes to get all that cleared out. Here's all the junk on the outside that I took out of the garage. Not really too much. We keep a pretty king garage. Here's a look at the garage before tiling. I'm going to try and get all this done in one day. We'll see how that works. Let's get the tiling.
And I'm done. 350 square feet, brand new tiles, done in about no, a little over three hours, about three hours. And it looks great. I'll have a link for these exact tiles in various colors down below in the description so that you can go to Amazon and save yourself some money. On Amazon, these tiles are about 250 a square foot. You can do all 350 square foot of this garage, which is a typical two car garage, for about $810. There'll be a link down in the description right to these tiles where you can save some money. It was easy to do. It took me actually about three hours to do it, maybe less. I took a little 15 minute break in the middle. Real easy to do. Helps to have a rubber mallet. And you gotta be on your knees. So I got some knee pads I used, as you saw in the video. But here's the finished product. So I'm gonna pull the car in and then we'll be on to the next part of the series. As usual, I'm Tim. See ya!